One of the neat things about Google+, and really about any social network, is the speed with which information can be shared across the network. In Twitter, Facebook, and even in the past in Google+, it was difficult to see how that spread was happening, but Google's added a feature called Ripples uh, that give you a real neat visualization of how that works. Um, here's how it works. Uh, with any post, any post that's been shared, I'm in the What's Hot section, so these have a lot of shares. This one's been shared 75 times. You can click the drop down in the upper right corner, and choose View Ripples. It'll open a new page showing the spread of that post. There's some neat things you can do here. Uh, the smaller circles are just people that have shared it once. The bigger ones are people that have shared it repeatedly. So you can see when it was shared to Bradley Horowitz, who works for Google, a lot of people then shared it from him. And one of the people that shared it from him was Dan Patterson, who shared it with someone else. And so it gives you a good idea of the spread of posts. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, actually you can zoom in and out on it and see different folks. Uh, but if we scroll down a little bit, you can see the how, how things spread here on this little animation. But this slider affects... Uh, the visual at the top to see how that spread happens. We can go back to the beginning, click the play button, and kind of watch it start spreading out and see see what happened. You can see when it hit Bradley, that was kind of its big jump there. Uh, and this is real neat to do on posts that have you know hundreds or thousands of shares, as you can you can see just all kinds of stuff bubbling up. But if you ever ever have a post that gets popular and want to know where it's going and where you need to be paying attention, this is a great way to to visualize it. Uh, the other advantage here, too, is if you get a lot of shares on a post, it can be difficult to go through and keep up with all those and leave comments and that kind of thing. And in this case, there's too many to do that with, but at least you can see where the big ones were. So if you had shared this, you'd say, well, I want to go check out you know, what Bradley had to say about it. And here's his post. You, know, you can see this kind of stuff. We can click on it, read his post. And because it was shared more often, it's likely to have more comments. So you can dive in there and you know respond to comments because it was about you know your post initially in theory. So... Google Plus Ripples are a neat way to visualize this kind of thing and very easy to use, so I hope you enjoy them.